is the what ah dependent variable your outcome must be not numeric must be non matrices must be uh, jadi tak jadi occurrence is either 0 or 1 occur or not occur something like that and then the independent variable can be mixed your independent no problem can be mixed okay the assumption as follows uh, dia kurang sikit assumption based on the linear Okay, this is the probability. Actually, when you run the logistic regression, you are trying to establish this uh, probability model. You see, y hat is equal to um, exponential of the power u. u ni actually is your regression regression model. You see, regression equation is over there. Correct or not? But I'm not going to, to talk about this. Uh, unless you need more uh, example, I can give it to you lively. Okay, we just skip this one. But um, if you can... If you can uh, go to my website or go to my YouTube channel, I explain this one in meticulously with the example how we want to predict some occurrence based on 1 and 0, uh, manually calculated. And then after that, we use the Excel to predict what happened. Uh, that one, I got the video. I will publish soon and then you can make revision lah if you want. Lah. Okay. If you want me to share with you after this, also can up to you. Lah, eh? Okay. Uh, this is the expectation. Based on your logistic regression, the first of all, you will assess the model, whether the model is good or not. You assess the predictors, you assess the relationship, you look into the odd ratio, and then you look into the classification of the case. And then this is the assessing of the model. You look into the log likelihood. Okay, I need to speed it up because in the end of the day, we need to run it and then understand what to interpret. Okay, remember, if you run linear regression, you got R. R what? R square. R square talking about what? How many variants explain of the x towards y? In logistic regression, also they got r. They got the r square. But this one is called su... Su apa? Pandai. Sudo r. There are very few sudo r that are relevant, which is a Cox and Snell, Nagrakel r, and Hosmer and Lemeshaw r square. So all these things will be provided by the SPSS. And then the r statistic as follows. You can read through all these things, odd ratio... Uh, this one is the example that I mentioned to you. The odd ratio or the null of the odd ratio will be is equal to 1. So, if you got more than 1, that means you have more chances of getting that disease. Let's say 0 is no disease, 1 is disease. So, if you got more than 1, that means you have more chances to get disease. Okay? And then if you got less than 1, that means you get less chances. We are talking about chance, eh? 0 and 1. You see this one, 1.25 means that 25 highest odd of the sum factors that you're testing. Okay, and then classification accuracy and example. Alright, so to run the example straight away and to make you appreciate more, please open the um, data. But I want you open the data of the Titanic. I don't want you to open data the uh, 